Women would rather be homeless than marry a beta. And you can see this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, what's poppin', everybody? I'm back. That what's poppin' intro is not that good. I'm gonna be honest. It, it's lacking a little bit, and it sounds a little weird. I don't know. You know, it's not something I would typically say, but, you know, what's up? What's going on? Uh, today, we're taking a look at just a absolute wonderful woman from TikTok. I mean, she has just ascended down from the heavens, and, you know, every guy on the face of the earth just is, you know, waiting to be with her because, uh, you know, she's just that amazing. Uh, just pearly things. Now, if you haven't heard of her, she basically is like the fresh and fit um, equivalent, but however, as a woman. Um, now, if you don't know what fresh and fit is, it's kind of like Andrew Tate. And if you don't know what Andrew Tate is, uh, you know, where the fuck have you been the whole fucking past year? Like, well, actually, what have you been doing? Um, but yeah, no, basically, she just spouts out a bunch of super uh, misogynistic shit that doesn't really make sense. Um, and yeah, you know, she likes to shit on some dudes. She likes to shit on most women. Um, and you know, that whole thing, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what I'm talking about as we get into these. So with that being said, let's go ahead and play the first one. It's Pearly like equal, lost her I just temper. think isn't like fair because like men, when they make a bad decision, they have the consequence immediately where women don't, we're bailed out of everything. How are we bailed out of everything? Okay. 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 Huh? Every mm -hmm. bad decision that you make, you're bailed out of. If you want to sleep around, there's birth control. If you get pregnant, you don't want to keep it. There's an abortion. If you get pregnant and you want to get married to the guy and leave and take half, you can do that. And you can do it under the guise of being happy. And you know, and society will accept you and some simple, probably marry you after. And, that, <laughs> and, you, and then on top of that, if you're, if, if you're bad with your money, what are you going to do? You're going to go to a women's shelter or the government will pay you if you also if you leave and you're a single mother and you're the fifth baby mama or whatever you can also go to the government they'll pay you oh you can cheat you're right you can oh, cheat and, you, and if you cheat and if you cheat what'll happen oh people will ask you well why did she cheat da 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 yeah, where men's just where men are just a dog do, yeah, what do what do? Is that these systems are put into place because it is a man's world because us as women are my now are, are minority now nah, that's, so that's just that's just that's just that's just all right, so basically starting off here, she's like, oh, well, you know, being a woman is just so fucking easy. And, you know, being a man just must suck dick. Now, as a, you know, white male in America, you know, right, I do have a lot of things and a lot of opportunities and obviously a lot of privilege that many other people don't have, that white women don't have that, um, you know, people of different races may not have or that women of different races might not have. Uh, you know, there's obviously a ton of privilege that comes with, you know, my specific um, race and gender. You know, it's throughout history. That's just how it works. And now the issue with her is that she does not believe that whatsoever. Why? Oh, well, because women can do this and they can get away with it. And oh, if they want to, you know, if they want to sleep around, there's birth control and na 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 na. And men are just hit with these cold, hard punishments right away, which is not really true in the slightest. I mean, I could think of a ton of men who have like gotten away with so much shit that they should not have gotten away with. And then she also talks about shit like, Oh, well, you know, if you're a woman and you cheat on, you know, your husband, it's going to be like, oh, what did he do to make you cheat? Blah, 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 blah. That's not the fucking point. People are going to be like, oh, that's a shitty thing to do. You cheated. That's shitty. Not a lot of people are probably going to want to talk to you or get to know you or date you after that because that's like, oh, that's fucked up. You know, if you're going to do it to him, why the fuck wouldn't you do it to me? I would say that that's, you know, a lot of reasonable men would think in that way and I, I mean i would hope that they fucking would uh that's at least how i look at situations like that i'm like oh well if you were an asshole to him why the fuck would you not be an asshole to me you know you fucking treat everybody the same right um but yeah so not really true and then she's like oh well if guys did that then oh they're just a dog and you know oh they're just so fucked up and that's fucked up it's like 
no, no, dude, like, that's literally not even how it works. If you're a dude and you go cheat on a girl and you fucking get rid of her, girls don't, like, really care, you know? I mean, it's weird and they should care, but, uh, you know, they, they kind of don't. They're just like, oh, well, you know, he cheated, but that's okay because he won't cheat now. And, I, I mean, a lot of that comes from the fact that a lot of women do have really low self-esteem, so they're like, oh, you know, I can look past something like that. Even when, you know, you really shouldn't have to look past something like that because, you know, everybody's better than somebody who has cheated in the past or, you know, could potentially cheat on them. Everybody's fucking better than that, right? You know, as long as you haven't cheated. If, if you've cheated, you're, you're kind of a piece of shit. But, um, you know... So it's it's like it's not really true. Plus, men just get like a, a pat on their back from like their buddies, like, oh, good job, man. Like, good for you. I see you out here getting all this pussy and shit, like awesome. Like, I mean, yeah, you know, fair, like fair play to you if you're doing that shit, but if you're cheating, like that's fucked up, dude. That's that's fucked up. And I've even I've had friends who have like, you know, fucking cheated or gotten close to cheating or like you know taking somebody else's girl or some shit like that and dude afterwards i'm like i I don't really fuck with you as much anymore because it's like it's not a desirable trait and it's i don't know it's not like somebody i personally want to be friends with i don't think a lot of people want to be friends with people like that it's fucked up you know it's it's not cool so i wouldn't say that men just like fucking you know, get punished for all of that shit. A lot of them skate away with like fucking zero consequence. Same with birth control and shit. Like everybody puts that shit on the woman. Like, dude, guys, wear a fucking condom. Like it's not that goddamn hard. You know, I mean, you can fucking be responsible for that shit too. It's not impossible, bro. Like everybody just fucking likes to say all this crazy shit. Like, I I don't know, dude, like, oh, women are able to get away with fucking murder. It's like, no, dude, if anything, guys get away with fucking murder all the goddamn time. Women don't, uh, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't fucking work like that. You know, she's just straight up fucking wrong in this whole, in this whole goddamn thing. And the girl that's trying to make a point that she fucking cuts off. That's like, oh, well, you know, us women, we're like a minority and, you know, shit's always been ran by males. So like, it's a man's world kind of, she's not fucking wrong. It is. I mean, everything is as a fucking man, everything is tailored towards a man. It's a lot easier to do a lot of fucking things as a guy than it is for a girl, which is fucked up and not right. And that should definitely fucking change. But I mean, that's just how it is. And she's right. It fucking sucks for women. A lot of the time it's fucked up. Uh, yeah, so awful fucking point from Pearl, shitty goddamn argument, uh, it's just, uh, it's a fucking shitty thing to argue for, and the whole argument in general doesn't even make sense, like, half of it is just fucking false, uh, so yeah, you know, let, let's move on to the next one. This romantic thing you've done for a guy? I've done, like, um, a rooftop sort of picnic thing, went shopping, got all the food he liked, and just had that romantic setting for him, and he really appreciated it. Do you think that's something that you would have wanted, or something he would have wanted? Just, I'm just, I don't know your man in it. Is that something you would have wanted or he would have wanted? Or did he just appreciate I think, it? I, I, think, I think he really liked it. Uh, I guess what he's saying is, <laughs> where you come from? did you do for him what you wanted him to do for you? Or did you actually think, like, this is what that man wants? Yeah, what about you, Jess? What I did, I would say, was I like balloons, happy birthday, and it was a surprise. Didn't know that it was happening. Got him some of his favorite <laughs> stuff. But then I surprised him, confetti, everything, balloons, the whole nine. And from hearing what you guys are saying, that's something that I would want someone <laughs> to do for me. Like, surprise, like, hey, baby. Okay, so now they talk about, you know, being romantic, right? You know, women don't do romantic shit. That's like basically the thing they're trying to get at. Or if women do do romantic shit, it's just because that's what the woman would want. And, you know, so she's like fucking projecting that and giving it to, uh, you know, the dude in the relationship, even though it might not be what he specifically wants. It's just what she wants. And so blah, 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 you know, whatever you fucking watch the goddamn TikTok. But this is this is just another fucking shitty ass point. Like it makes no fuck. Who gives a fuck? Right. You know, here's the thing with guys that a lot of people misunderstand and that I think that this Pearl girl really fucking misunderstands. Guys are the most simple-minded fucking thing on the goddamn planet. Like, we have zero fucking, like, complexity when it comes to shit like this. Even me, 
who like I would consider myself to, you know, be like pretty above average when it comes to intelligence and shit like that. Um, you know, like I fucking like being intelligent. I like fucking talking and doing shit like that, improving points. And, you know, like I fucking like to do shit like that. Right. You know, I like to try and be a little more complex, understand a lot of complex issues and shit like that and have, you know, more complex points than a lot of other guys, because a lot of other guys, especially at my age, just, you know, say whatever the fuck they want, do whatever the fuck they want, because well, in- who gives a fuck? Like, that's that's basically their mindset, which I'm there sometimes, too. And that's what I mean. Every fucking guy, at the end of the day, breaks down to this simple fucking, like, dumbass. Uh, <laughs> that is basically, like, at the core of being a guy, is just being fucking dumb. And so, if you're a guy... And, you know, you are dating somebody, you're probably pretty fucking infatuated with them. You know, you probably like them a lot. And so, you know, sure, like this first girl said, maybe a picnic might not be, you know, my like ideal date, right? You know, maybe like a picnic with all my favorite food and shit. Like, maybe that's not exactly what I'd want to do, right? But if some girl did that for me, I would 100% consider that romantic. I would be like, this is fucking awesome, and I really fucking appreciate this. Like, this is cool, because it's, you know, it's positive at the end of the day. And as a guy, you don't get a lot of positive things. So, you know, seeing something positive like that coming your way, even if it's from somebody that you're dating that kind of has some kind of obligation to do that you know, it's still like, oh my god, like, this is fucking awesome, I love this, you know, yes, this is romantic, like, it doesn't matter, and honestly, how the fuck else do you be romantic, you know, you don't know the exact fucking thing that that person is gonna want when it comes to, like, a romantic thing, unless you ask, but then you get rid of, like, the element of surprise, which can be one of the coolest fucking, uh, you know, things when it comes to romantic situations, It's like, I don't know, you know, you either fuck it up by ruining the surprise and be like, oh, what's some really romantic thing that you would like me to do for you? Not at all because I'm planning one, just because I'm really fucking curious. Like, then you fuck up the whole surprise thing because then they're expecting it. And, uh, you know, if you just take a wild fucking stab at something you don't like that they may not like, everybody's going to be unhappy, you know? Really, at the end of the day, when it comes to doing romantic things in a relationship, it should just be what makes you two happy together, you know, no matter who fucking enjoys it. And honestly, most of the time, I would fucking love shit like that, even though that's not, you know, my fucking ideal. That's just a romantic thing overall. You know, that is romantic. You can't fucking deny that. And then this other girl all of a sudden decides to like fucking cuck herself and be like, Oh, well, actually, now that I think about it, the romantic thing that I had done was just something I would like. So I guess that that's not romantic. No, it's so fucking romantic. You probably made his birthday goddamn 40 times better than it would have been. My man probably would have got home, opened a fucking beer, drank it, and played Call of Duty with without you fucking doing that for him. You know, like, that would have been his goddamn birthday. That's fucking half of my birthdays. And, I, you know, as a guy, that's fine. We don't really give a shit. It's like, oh, this is fucking fine. You know, I don't care. Um, but, you know, if a girl did that and made it that much better, it would be like, shit, this was actually a really good birthday. That's all you have to fucking do. Just little ass things like that. And that's considered romantic because guys are fucking stupid. Um, you know, like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just I'm being honest here. You know, guys are simple minded and any positive thing is gonna, you know, bring out some positivity in them. So uh, again, Pearl, you're fucking wrong. Uh, You know, nobody actually defines romantic gestures based on whatever the fuck you're clarifying them as. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. The options, but I think most men now have more options than they ever did. No, no. actually, it's, it's, no. it's actually it's, it's the opposite. And I'll give, I'll give you this example, right? Back in the day, the girl from a small English village, mm. the pool of men she would choose were the men from her village, yeah. right? Now, because of social media, dating apps, the internet, she can connect with the hotshot lawyer from London, the basketball player from Paris, the producer from LA. Yeah. So the average guys in her circles are looking pretty weak compared to the opportunities that she has. For the average man, he's actually got little to zero options because women now have access to high value men and high value men now have access to multiple women. On top of that, back in the day, women sort of knew that they don't tend to necessarily work. They needed a man to get through life. Nowadays, when women have more money, to them it's like, well, I'd rather have a man who earns the same or 
more than me. Women would rather be homeless than marry a beta. And you can see this. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, so we got Mr. Oi Bruv over here, you know, talking up a storm, right? Blah, 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 blah. Who, um, yeah, men have so many few less choices. Like, I, I don't know why people act like this, dude. It's all the fucking same as it's always goddamn been. You know, it's the issue here is just the fucking incel shit and the people who listen to shit like this. Because the more you listen to some shit like this as a guy, right? You're going to get into that mindset of, oh, fuck, you know, this is right. Like, shit, women do want high value males. They don't actually give a fuck about people like me because I'm just an average dude. Like, fuck, they're going to want to go fuck that rich dude or they're going to go want to fuck this social media dude because he has a ton of clout. They're not going to want to fuck me because I'm just some average ass dude. So fuck that. You know, I guess I'm fucked. And then they, you know, dedicate fucking years of their life to becoming like this high value piece of shit male, um, you know, who goes around and fucking acts like Andrew Tate. And then it doesn't matter anyway, because like you're not even fucking the human connections are gone at that point. You're just like a fucking robot at that point. Like, sure, you might be getting more girls, um, but do any of them really give a shit about you? Probably not. They're just there for the fucking clout and shit. It's different. You know, it's fucking different. It's like you fucking lose a, a, a just a different way. You know, if anything, it's better to just be that average fucking dude. Because honestly, that average dude, just if you go out and put yourself out there, you're probably going to have some interesting things. And you might not find like the fucking next Kim Kardashian. Like they might not, you know, you know you're not going to fucking date Kim Kardashian or some shit. But, uh, you know, actually, who fucking knows? I mean, look at Pete Davidson. I mean, we did find out that my man's got a fucking hog down there. Like my man is like going bro but like i mean he's got like the the dick of the gods um but you know outside of that i mean my man's a, a pretty fucking average dude if we're being honest like yeah i mean he has like fame and shit from doing comedy um and everything like that but honestly like my man isn't anything special you know he's not something that other dudes can't be you know like it's not that bad um just be that average dude and even if you have to find an average girl she might not be average to you you know because that's how fucking attraction works although they might be average to you know most people or some shit maybe that person that everybody considers average is the one for you same you know maybe a lot of fucking people consider you average but some girl is out there thinking oh shit look at this dude you know this guy's like the the coolest fucking dude ever you know it's not about being a high value male, just be your goddamn self. And it's not necessarily that females have, oh God, I fucking hate that word. I can't even, dude, oh shit. I've been listening to too many of these goddamn podcast things. If I ever use females again, fuck, dude, that is like the worst word ever. It's not even that women do not, or like have more choices or anything like that. Because they, they don't, you know, they don't really have a fuck ton of choices. It's just all about, like, who you fucking are and how good you are at getting around and shit. That's all it is. It's just how good you are at talking and conversating and shit like that. That's all that fucking matters. That's literally all it is. That's all it is, dude. It's like every fucking guy can be a seven. And every girl can be a seven, too. Honestly, every dude can be a seven. Shower, take care of yourself get a good haircut that you like and that you feel comfortable in, uh, you know, make sure you brush your goddamn teeth and dress in like clothes that don't look like you just fucking rolled out of bed in them. And like, you're basically a fucking seven and just be a normal ass dude, you know, be a normal guy and feel comfortable in yourself. And there you go, dude, you're a fucking seven. Um, you know, the the things that these really do is it just makes men feel like oh well fuck i have no i have no hope and then they go and become some incel fucking weirdo uh who just hates women and shit like that and it's like ah well nobody will fuck nobody will, will fuck me and fuck this and fuck that and fuck you uh you know like it, it, that's not the fucking play dude just just fucking be yourself be proud of yourself and you're good bro and even if you are, like, one of these beta male people, like, this is fucking, it's such a fucking stupid statement, like, oh, a girl would rather be homeless than marry a beta, like, 
Dude, that Alpha, Beta, Sigma shit is so fucking stupid, dude. Like, if you actually believe in that shit, god damn, man. It's so dumb, dude. Like, that nobody has looked at another human and, and dead ass gone, oh, that's an Alpha. I want them. Like, no, dude. Because that's not even how humans fucking work. There's no goddamn Alphas. We're all fucking human. We're all on, like, the same social level. You know, it's not like a goddamn wolf pack where there's like one dude who is just fucking like massive and kills and fucking gets all the meat for the goddamn tribe. Like, that's not how the fucking, that's not how fucking humans work. You know, that's like, like I guess maybe if you were out in like tribal clans or some shit, then yeah, maybe that's how it would work because, you know, I don't know, but 99% of people are not in fucking tribal clans. They live in normal civilized uh, civilizations, you know, like where that shit doesn't really fucking occur anymore. So nobody's really an alpha and nobody's a beta. Just be your goddamn self. Don't even worry about that shit because no one gives a fuck. No girl has ever said, I want an alpha. That's fucking dumbass shit. No girl has ever fucking said that. I can like, I can almost guarantee you. Uh, and if they have fuck them that is not the stay as far away from them as possible they are fucking bad news do not get anywhere near them they are not it they are not the play stay away in fact book it as quick as you can away from them because nah dude like I, this is so dumb of course a girl would rather marry some dude who you know i don't know i don't even know what a beta would be because nobody is one same as how nobody's really an alpha like it it's just dumbass terminology dude it's fucking stupid and it, it really does get to people's heads though so you know don't don't pay attention to it because it's it's stupid but let's go ahead and move on to the next one but or if you're dating an nba player and you get cheated on i don't feel bad for you like that girl jason derulo's chick who's on instagram saying oh no i got cheated on boo you're dating jason derulo what did you think was gonna happen he was a hoe before he met you it's like it's like when you when you wife a hoe it's like she was a hoe before you met you yeah. let's say that was her experience that every time she goes out and she gets crazy. Yeah, but she doesn't. She doesn't. I know she doesn't, right? She doesn't. But let's say that was her experience. But, but, would she be okay to say what she to make a statement? Would she be okay to make a statement? Okay, if that was actually happening everywhere. To her, no, no, to her. No, if that was actually happening everywhere, then sure, but it's not. But this is what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if that was her but I'm saying, but I'm saying that's not real. So, like, a lot of times, to, like, to prove a point, like, you make up a scenario that's not real yeah. in order to prove a point. But that's not, that's not real. So there you go. Oh, can't make a wife out of a hoe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking that was so bad also that is not how i actually sing just to put that out there that was 100 percent supposed to sound really fucking bad uh i did do that on purpose but um yeah no like <laughs> I love how that was literally her fucking point she was like oh don't date somebody who is a hoe because they, they will just stay a hoe like <laughs> oh my god dude holy fuck man like oh dude and she's like that's okay it's okay if you're dating a hoe and you know they're a hoe and they go and they fucking cheat on you that's your fault <laughs> oh my god dude she's so fucking stupid bro what is wrong with her it's just some misogynistic bullshit she's like oh well jason derulo can cheat yeah because i mean he's fucking jason derulo so everybody wants to be with jason and derulo and because of that i mean he could just go fuck whoever he wants and his girlfriend shouldn't be able to say shit about that it's like what what the fuck are you talking about dude like that is not no no dude no um that is not the goddamn play do not do not fucking cheat i don't care how big of a goddamn celebrity or some shit you are don't fucking do that it's not okay ever and yes this girl has a complete right to be upset that her boyfriend cheated on her that's a completely normal fucking feeling to that situation um yeah but i don't know overall wild um just wild take and also she has the mental age of like a fucking eight-year-old she can't even work in hypotheticals this guy who is somewhat agreeing with her somehow is just throwing out the hypothetical like oh well you know, what if this girl the whole time was getting, you know, just a ton of guys hitting her up like, oh, you know, 
let's go, let's go, let's go. And she was denying that, but Jason Derulo wouldn't deny all of the fucking girls that were doing the same thing. It's like, dude, it's a hypothetical. You should be able to work in that. Yes, if that was happening, that's even more fucked up because, yeah, good for her for being able to, you know, fend off all of that and shitty for Jason Derulo to not be able to fucking, you know, cut down on basic goddamn temptations or if he was that goddamn tempted to cheat, then fucking break up with his girlfriend and go with one of the fucking other ones. Don't cheat. It's some dumbass shit to do. It just it's just fucking stupid. Um like that's literally where cheating stands at the end of the day. It's the dumbest fucking thing you could ever do. Because if you're gonna cheat, just break up with the person you're dating. It's clearly not going to fucking work. Um you know like it's just it, no, dude, just don't fucking cheat. It's not okay for anybody to cheat. Definitely not okay for guys and definitely not okay for girls. Nobody should be cheating. End of fucking story. Case in point, don't be a goddamn eight-year-old mentally. And think about the hypotheticals because they're important. You know, there are a lot more than just, oh, well, here's these fucking made-up fictional things. It's like, no, these are very real, rooted in reality, uh, you know, fucking scenarios that I'm bringing up. You know, right? Like, it's that's what hypotheticals are. They're potential things that really could be happening you know that a lot of people maybe don't think about but you're bringing it up as a hypothetical so that they do think about it because they might be important um yeah but i don't know overall my take is that this pearl girl is really dumb uh she's a massive misogynist and i know that there's going to be people going oh well she can't be a misogynist she's a woman how how is there a woman misogynist you know it's like okay you're the same you're literally the same as the people going oh well kanye west west cannot be racist because he is black um and you know that makes it so he he just can't be racist towards other black people it's like that's not fucking true of course he can i can be goddamn racist to fucking white people you know it's not that hard i mean are they gonna take it as bad probably not or when i'm making you know racist jokes or some shit about white people uh which there there's not too many of unfortunately i wish that there were more because they, they, they are kind of fun to make you know you can really only make the like uh you know oh unseasoned chicken so many times but um yeah you know like yes you can fucking be racist to your same race yes you can be misogynistic as a woman like it's not fucking impossible all you have to do is echo talking points of say a white supremacist in kanye west's situation or you know echo the talking points of very misogynistic people in pearl's circumstance so it's like yeah you know it's they're so fucking misogynistic uh yeah and uh, fuck her you know she has bad takes don't listen to her takes if you see her on tiktok don't listen to her takes they're shitty um and yeah i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day i will see you guys later goodbye